Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I uh, hope everyone's having a great day today. Uh, I've got another Easy Drummer 3 video here for you today. Uh, however, this is not just another Easy Drummer 3 video. Nope. We're going to do something pretty cool and a lot of fun, uh, if I must say. Uh, it was a pleasant surprise. So, um, and what that surprise is, you guys will see as we go along here. Uh, but uh, let's get going and let's see what we can do, what we can learn. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, anything that I may go over that is a little bit um, cloudy or foggy or I didn't explain it enough, no problem. We'll try to make more videos on the subjects and, and further deep dive um, if need be. All right. And if you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, okay. And without further ado, let's get rolling. Uh, what we're going to do here is I've taken just the basic uh, default, which is the main room studio basic, taken the default add groove, clicked, put it in here. And this is what we have. Okay, and then what we're going to do is if you click here, you have that option to drag audio right here. You can also right click on the particular instrument. You also have the import audio as well. Again, drag audio import audio you have to click on import you have the box that pops up and then you'll load it in this is the drag feature we're going to do the drag feature just to give you guys the visual of it so what i have here is i have a folder that uh i made some samples about an hour ago um, i made them from the superior drummer 3 library so i took a couple presets um, and then just basically bounce them down and then created the sample as wave files and they're in 2448 they are stereo um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to drag those in and let's see what it does so here's the kick and then this will be the snare okay and let's play it as is Sounds a little bit like Hurts So Good from Mr. John Mellencamp, if you ask me. But no one's asking me. So anyway, I digress. So that's what we have. Those were the samples. That's how easy it is. You can drag them in, and they just replace what was originally there. Now, what I want you to notice over here is where these are now labeled under. This is now under your user audio files. If you click on that, you'll see that that folder is going to be at the bottom, okay? So if we go back to the main room, and we put the default snare in there, so that's the sampled kick, and that's the default snare in this preset. Now let's say I wanted to put that sample back in there. Like, where is it? Do I have to drag it back in? No. Click right there. Go all the way down to user audio files. There it is. You're going to have the catalog of what you placed in this drum kit as far as samples, okay? They will show up here. Same with the kick. Kick is under user audio files. Let's go back to the main room default, which would have been that. So now we have the original kit right here, okay? I want to replace that with my sample again. Where do I go? I go down here. User audio files. Click. There's my kick. User audio files. Snare. All right. Let's say you want to get nutty. Put the snare there. Now you have two snares being triggered. Sounds like a high school cheerleading theme, so I like where this is going. Let's put the kick over here. Interesting. So basically, 
inversion of what you were doing. So I we could go all day with this. You could do that with your with the toms. You could place your kick samples on your toms. Um, you could put them on your cymbals. I mean, let's see what we can do here. Can I add a cymbal? Uh, let's go over here. Let's put this right there. Let's go right there. All right. So I'm going to put in a, a kick. There it is. So watch it. Watch it here. Snare is there. Kick is there. Kick is here. Okay, if that doesn't throw you for a loop, I don't know what does, huh? I'm gonna try something. <laughs> just, I'm just going with this here as we're going. I wanna go all the way on this. Like, what is this gonna do? Let's see, okay? Okay, I'm digging it. Let's put some cowbell in, all right? You know me and cowbell. So you can almost have kind of a drum machine sort of feel to it, which is definitely not the human element, but again, it's not about what's right or what's wrong. It's about what you need. This is songwriting. So, you know, whatever you're going for, whatever, you know, uh, your heart desires, you can do. Um, you can pull it out. Uh, okay, let's go back to the default. To get back to the default on this preset, you're going to right-click again, and the first one that pops up under the main room is going to be your default, okay? Right-click. Right-click. I think that's all we had, right? I am going to turn off that uh, cowbell. That was even a little bit too much for me, and I love cowbell. So, okay, so what do we have? Let's check it out. Oh yeah, we've still got the playstyle amount going there. Okay, there we go. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you guys before we get to the the cool cool part here at the end is I want you to focus here. Remember, I always talk about visual and also audio and the convergence, and that's what Easy Drummer Three is teaching you. Um, so you are your own drummer, even though this is your drummer, you need to be aware of what your drummer is doing. So notice this on this preset, the Studio Basic main room, you have three mono kick mics that were recorded and two mono snare mics that were recorded, okay? Now I'm going to mute these. And what you should be able to hear is all the bleed from the kick and the snare because this was all recorded at the studio at the same time. So I'll play this loop again and you can just watch the meters here and hear the bleed of the snare and the kick. Okay, now we're just going to unmute those and then solo those. Okay, let's play them now. Okay, now let's unsolo those. Okay, now again, remember, three monos for the kick, two monos for the snare. Let's go back to those drums again. Left click, left click, use your audio file, snare. Left click, left click, 
user audio file, kick. So basically my samples. Now let's look at the mixer. Remember, we had three mono kick drum mics, two mono snare mics on this preset with the default instruments. Let's look now. Boom. One user kick stereo, one user snare stereo. I'm going to mute these. Okay. Now, do you see or hear any snare or kick bleed coming through, either on the overhead, the ambience, any of these? No. And again, because it's a sample, it wasn't recorded at the same space and the same time. So you're not going to have the benefits of, um, you know, that's the great part about multi-miking, is you get bleed from all kinds of 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 directions in a room when you're recording drums you know with with all of these mics so you're going to get a lot of cool sounds and real subtle sounds that blend in with other more prominent sounds which create the sound so the idea of uh the idea of sampling in this particular format of easy drummer 3 you're basically importing in a sound that was not recorded at the same time in the same place so unless you have a lot of sauce on it i.e. EQ, compression, um, you know, reverb, tail, anything like that, that, that can, you can kind of blend in to make it not stick out with this sort of preset, you know, the better. So that's my advice. So the samples that I actually bounced down today and brought in were processed samples. So they had the sauce on there. They had some EQ. They had some compression. And they had some reverb tail on it. So... Just be aware of that when you're using samples, okay? Now, I'm going to unmute these, and then I'm just going to solo them. And you can just listen to them, and you'll be able to hear the sauce. Hear that snare decay? Now the whole kit. So that just kind of gives you guys an idea of, you know, what happens when you do import samples that, that were not done at the same time and the same place and in the same space uh, continuum. Um, you will come across issues like that. So again, when I usually do drum replacement, it's because it's needed. There were some maybe some poorly recorded drums or there's been some sort of deterioration over time. Um, but with... Easy Drummer 3, this release, th the furthest thing on my mind is replacing any of the drums. Like, that's how good it sounds. And trust me, I've used every sort of drum replacement software you can use through the ages. Um, I first started using TuneTrack back in like, oh gosh, it was like 2005 or 2006, way back then. So these guys have been with me for the long haul in terms of uh, how they innovate what they do as far as their sounds, and it just keeps getting better and better and better. And now, to be honest with you, I don't know how you're going to top this, okay? So as far as the sounds go. So um, I really don't use, I don't envision using uh, sample replacement. Um, even my own favorite samples in the world, I just don't envision that with, with uh, uh, Easy Drummer 3 because I've got, all the great sounds already here so they did such a good job recording that hats off to them so um, I won't really be needing that uh, but I thought I would show you guys how it's done anyway so one more thing before we go okay so just to be funny with this whole thing I thought you know what we've got a sampler 
what about I can sample some other sounds? What would be kind of fun just to kind of goof around with, just to kind of see what it can do? I just want to see if the timing is there and how it would sound. So me being the uh, um, comedian that I am, I thought, well, why don't I just do my voice? So I do a voice kick, and then I do a voice snare, okay? Now, when I mean voice kick and voice snare, I mean I say snare and I say kick. So, <laughs> so it's going to sound a little goofy, but you get the idea. Like, I was really surprised. It, I mean... It was kind of cool. It's it's really cool what you can like discover, and that's the whole idea. Get creative, J uh, make a I don't know, just anything. Uh, you could uh, do a bunch of foley sounds, and you could import them in here and play them to the patterns and um, substitute different instruments uh, within certain presets. I mean, it's limitless um, what you can do with this. You can just spend the next 10 years exploring this and you wouldn't even be halfway through what you could do with this. So, okay. So with these new uh, wonderful voice samples I put in here, let's take a listen to this file and let's see if it's usable. Kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, 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 kick, snare, snare. I will leave it there for today, guys. I hope that gave you um, some insight to what you can do uh, with the sampling uh, with Easy Drummer 3. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.